Okay, once you've created your account and you've logged in, this is our control panel. And what we want to do now is install WordPress. And we do that using the installer. So if you go up to these buttons up here, you go to installer. And what we want to do is we want to install an application. So the application we want to install is WordPress. So click on Applications Installer. Okay, that'll take us uh, to all these things that we could install. You see lots of stuff. Uh, WordPress is a uh, content management system. And that's what we want to use. It's the number one, and that's why it's up on top. And let's see what version we can use. Okay, so they're up to 3.9, but free host is free, so we get what we get. And then click on the install. Uh, and then this comes up. Uh, the admin user is Helsum. That is our that is my username, and that will come up automatically. Then we have to have a password. Um, I recommend you make it a very easy password. Um, that will just get you by. Because again, we're not worrying right now. Now, in the future, you want to do a really good one with letters and numbers and special characters. My most pressing thing right now is do not make a password that locks you out. So. Okay, so it accepted that, pretty easy one. And there's my next one. Uh, my title, uh, we're going to be building a tennis center one, so I'm going to call this Trident Tennis Center. And then uh, my database prefix is WP underscore, and I'm going to add to this um, Trident underscore tennis. Okay, now I'm going to have it automatically uh, create a database for me. And I'm going to tell it to go ahead and install. Now the only thing I have to remember out of all of this is what is my user admin? You should know that from logging in. This is the same one we use for Word, for uh, Freehostia. And then the password, I recommend you make it the same password as what you used to log in. And then you don't have to worry about forgetting it. All right, and then uh, we're ready to go ahead and install. Okay, what's going to have to do, it's going to have to create a database. And you can see here, um, it, this is my website URL. So it's uh, the, my same URL with a WordPress folder. Uh, my admin URL is this right here. And we can get to this at any time by taking a look at, um, uh, going back in here and taking a look at what scripts we've installed. And you can see that our admin username is, is the same as our free host you one. And then, oops, well, you, know, you can see my computer, my, uh, my password. Uh, so now that I'm all done, now I can go ahead and log into the admin area. And I do that by either clicking here or clicking here. It's the same thing. Okay, and thinking, thinking, thinking. So what actually has happened is a ton of stuff has just been put into our website. Uh, and that's, it doesn't seem like a tough, because not a lot of, a, lot of, a big um, amount of things, or not a big size of things, but lots of small folders, or lots of small files. Uh, that is the infrastructure of WordPress. So uh, welcome to WordPress. So we're ready to go ahead and get started. All right. So. What we can do is, um, uh, this is our dashboard right here. And we can either walk our way through here, or we can just go over here uh, and click on Posts. Of course, you can't see that. All right, so we went over here, and we clicked on Posts. The thing is, we don't need a Hello World post. So I'm going to check that, and I'm going to uh, move it to Trash. And that is now trashed. Okay, so no posts. Um, if we go into media, you'll find, well, we have no media. That's where we're going to put all our pictures. Um, our pages, let's take a look at our pages. And we should have one page, and that's our sample page. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and trash that too, because uh, we don't need that. 
Okay, and the next one is going to be plugins. And that is going to show that we have some plugins already installed. The plugins simply add functionality to a website. And what we want to do is get rid of the Holo Dolly. Um, just delete it. It's of no use to us whatsoever, so might as well. Uh, they just put it in there as a placeholder for some other ones that we might use. So we'll go ahead and delete this and all the files that are associated with it. And again, they put that in as a placeholder, really not necessary. It's not going to hurt anything. It doesn't take up that much room. But we might as well go ahead and start with a clean slate and make sure that everything is working as it should. And that's taken a few minutes. Um, so this one right here is actually a good one. Um, it allows us to protect, if we have a blog, from one of those uh, uh, robots coming in and posting a bunch of spam to our stuff. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Right now we have cleaned everything out and we're ready to go ahead and start actually working within WordPress. And that's our next lesson.